This is what it's all about, folks. FAC Fight Night. Pusa with Let's make some noise! for our main event of the evening. Zach Busha came, like he shot out of a cannon right across, right in Jason Wood's face. Look for that rear high kick from Zach Busha. It's one of the tools he likes to use a lot. Jason Wood looks for the overhand right there. You should just out of range. <laughs> Seems to be a battle for the center of the cage position here. Right now, Jason Witt. Oh, there's that, there's that lead, uh, that, that, that rear high kick. Landed flush on Witt, but he seems to be okay. His right hand down the middle there by Witt. Follows up with a head kick of his own. Jason Wood doing a good job of, of, of switching stances and giving different looks here. A lot of feints mixed in here from Wood. He's touching the legs, he's changing levels, and then coming up high with strikes. He's giving so many different looks, I'm not sure if, if, if Busha Again, it's one of those situations he's getting caught watching because he's not exactly sure what's coming his way. He's doing a good job of landing his own big shots. Lost his mouthpiece. And we're back to action. He's doing a good job of, of, of giving some sort of danger to Jason with his not letting him just wade in there, though. He's, he's, he's a grizzled veteran. He's been in there a lot of times, a lot of different people. Lit fired a hard right hand to the body there. Hmm. Left hand landed there on Witt on his way in. Looks like there might have been an eye poke yeah, there. There was an accidental eye poke there. Looks like they're going to have the doctor come in and check it out. Let's take a look oh, at the there it is right there. there. Total accidental. It's like Witt went to post with the hand as Busha was coming forward. Yeah, but he just, you know, he just went to check the distance when he when he came in. Looks like he's going to continue. Nods that he's ready to go here. 
All right, and we're back. Boucher looking for that back high kick again. Stiff jab by Jason Witt. These guys are battling for the center of the cage. Oh, big nice uppercut. Up big uppercut from Jason Witt. He's starting to find his range here. He's, he's giving different looks, and he's, he's starting to stump uh, Zach Busha a little bit. Looks for the takedown and gets it right to the almost mount position, but Busha recovers half guard. Which, as you talked about earlier, that's it's kind of a staple of the, the glory gym is they like to be in half guard. They're they not, do. They don't really worry too much about passing. Um, they're comfortable staying in half guard and landing strikes. And that's kind of where their whole series comes from. You know, they, they don't like to be in side control because side control uh, can benefit the, the athletes, the guys that are super athletic and strong. Uh, you can't just explode your way up from half guard. Uh, yeah, it has to be a technical get up. Uh, Zach Busha, he's, he's not going to get off of his back until he gets that left underhook like he just got. Um, but he's got to get to his right hip. And Witt's going to keep him flat. Uh, and, that, and that's the fight. The fight is on the underhook and getting to your hip. If you're flat on your back, you can't get up. Uh, so that's where the battle is. He, get, he recovers his full guard here, but he goes to the body triangle, uh, or did initially, and it's going to be hard to be offensive off your back from there. Looks like Witt has opened up a small cut on the forehead of Busha. I think he landed a short elbow strike there, but there's just 10 seconds left in the round. Move into round number two here. Come in, did a good job closing up that cut on Zach Busha's face. Big right Double hand big on shots, the uh, Zach Beach is blitzing in. And Witt's doing a really good job of keeping the pressure, but staying right on the outside of those strikes of Busha. Witt's always got something in your face. He's always faint. He's always switching his stance. He's always, he's touching and then he's, in the, and then he's exploding into something big. He's just always giving so many different looks. This is, it's just high level. A nice body kick there by Busha, though. It's been Busha's best weapon so far is that, that rear leg kick. And uh, he's went to the body. We saw him go to the head with it. And a front kick up the middle as well. But he hasn't been able to put it on the button. Oh, he hurt him there. Staggering he left hand from there. Busha. Yeah, Witt was hurt. Surprised they didn't see. Not, I'm surprised to not see uh, Busha uh, kind of jump on him there a little bit. He did shake his legs were a little shaky. I don't know if it caught him off balance or if he was really hurt, but Busha was content just backing off. Witt hands down by his side, walking forward. Mouthpiece pops out though, Busha. 
Back to the action. Huh? Busha's corner seems to think that Witt is hurt and just has a good poker face. Busha's starting to find a home for that left hand. That was the staggering shot earlier. Witt still coming forward, though. Another left hand by Busha. He's kind of pulling himself back into it a little bit here. Big uppercut by Witt. Busha doing a really good job countering those strikes of his own. It's a really nice left hand uh, by both guys. They just exchanged Oh, there. big knee followed up by a right hook by Jason Witt. Jason Witt's turning it on. He thinks he has him hurt, and he's looking for a finish here. This might be it here. Jason Witt pouring it on. Pusha looks for an arm bar. Jason Witt able to pop out, though, see if he can continue to rain down strikes. He's just controlling the posture here. Jason Witt doing a good job of, of, of trying to keep his posture and, and, and keeping his head on the fence. Working the body, Good working punches. the head. Now raining down elbows. Right on that cut side, too, of Zach Busha. And he passes to half guard. That's where Busha had so many problems in the last round. He gets his hook back. Still lots of time to work. A minute and a half here in round two. And Witt just put himself back in full guard there. Seems comfortable here in full guard, just raining down strikes. Good job on Witt, but anytime Busha tries to get his head off the fence and try to get a hip to it, so maybe he can kick off or, or something like that. Like right here, you, you know, Witt's going to walk him back again and walk him back square. So does it just depend on who you're fighting, whether you want their head against the cage or off? We've kind of heard both it does. tonight. It does. It does. It absolutely does. The, the way his hips are moving, you either need to be, you need, you need his head on the fence or you need his feet on the fence. Now, Zach Busha's not really trying to get up. So it's okay to put his head there because he's not, and this is this right here, this is the problem you run into, he passes right away. But if he was someone who was, who was frantically trying to get up off of his back um, and get his back flat to the cage and slide up and use it to wall walk, um, then you want you would want to turn him and put his feet in and have his feet facing the fence uh, But because he's he's really fishing for submissions the, the fence almost helps you by it. you see how his head is kind of kinked in there And he's almost getting punched up against it um, Because of the way the Butcher grapples. Uh, he's pretty safe here and Jason Witt still just finding these short little strikes Some major ones that started off that series, but now is just has flooded on the ground with, uh, with many short peppering strikes there. And we'll move to round number three. A great round for Jason Witt. And it, it seemed like it was a round he kind of had to battle back from, too. He looked to be a little bit hurt uh, early in that round and, and, you know, was catching a lot of a, a lot of left hands from Zach Bush. He was finding a really, really finding a home for that, that left hand. And... Uh, you know, he just battled through it and, and started finding his own range and, and really being the bully that he is. There we see them working on the cut of Zach Busha, right in the eyebrow. Doesn't seem to phase a veteran like Zach Busha, though. Not at all. This is definitely not the first time he's ever been cut before. And both these guys look to be in phenomenal shape. Neither one of them look too uh, too labored or too tired. Another counter left by Zach Busha. Doug Beach is still in this, you know, he, he's given Jason what all he can handle and, and, and Jason's doing a phenomenal job reacting. I think this is exactly the main event that everyone expected it to be. Look at that big uppercut again is Witt.
Jason Witt's getting a lot more reactions uh, after after a couple rounds of landing those big shots. Now he's fainting and he's getting more of a reaction uh, out of Zach Busha now. For that front kick up the middle again. Jason Witts just, just stalking him down here. And when he's stalking like this, the only thing he really has to worry about is, is Zach Busha's rear side, because it's really the only thing he's been hurt with or, or landed consistently. The counter left hand from Busha. And, uh, but, it, but it's always after Witts landed, you know, three to five of his own. In a numbers game, those don't add up. Witt looking for that knee, still peppering him with three, four strikes at a time. Yeah, Witt, Witt is getting loose here. He's getting loose. He's comfortable. Uh, he's flowing a lot better than he did in that in that first round. He's mixing it up. He's going to the body and the head, and he's looking good. He's really comfortable. And he's flowing. can hear the corner James Krause talking to Jason Witt as he's fighting here and he's doing almost everything he says he calls for knees he starts to look for knees backside hand he goes backside hand it's really fun to listen to <laughs> follows up with a head kick after a nice combination by Jason Witt and has so far this round been able to stay out of the way of those uh those rear strikes of, of Busha Maybe you should lands a few of his own, though. He doesn't follow it up, though. You know, he, he does something, you know, lands a couple nice strikes, and he backs off and resets. Uh, if you watch Witt land punches, and it, it, you know, he'll, he starts fainting right away. He starts using those strikes that he just, did he, did he just land. If he ended with a, with the left hand, then he faints the left hand right away, and then starts moving on to something else. As everything's flowing together. Couple good left hands there from Jason Witt. With 90 seconds left here, I can't help but think that Busha needs to finish if he wants to win this fight. Big overhand right by Witt. And it hasn't really been one strike of Witt that's, that's been the dominant strike. It's, he's had uppercuts, we've seen hooks. Overhand rights, body shots, a little bit of everything. Busha trying to Busha pushing forward here again. I think he knows he's probably down on the scorecards. Coming down to the final 30 seconds here. Jason Witt pouring it on, trying to end this fight with the statement. Nice knee up the middle, oh, followed up by a right move. hand. Busha always right there, though, always trying to fire back. Great performance tonight by both those men. Jason Witt seemed to be the uh, land the better of the strikes. We will have to wait on this to give us the official scorecards. But a really great performance by both those guys. A really fun fight to watch. Jason Witt just kept uh, kept really good pressure and followed up his combos. 
with uh, you know with, with constant strikes, head kicks, knees up the middle, really mixed it up very well and just put a lot of pressure on Busch. I think we'll see him get the victory here tonight, but uh, we'll, we'll take a, a look at the scorecards when they come in. like the tallies are in. Let's send it up to our ring announcer to make it official. Let's give it up one more time for these fighters in our main event. <laughs> Judge Geary scores about 30 to 27. Judge Hamilton scores about 30 to 27. Judge Hagler scores about 30 or 27. For a unanimous decision, out of the red corner, Jason Witt. And there you have it. Jason Witt gets the unanimous decision victory. And he will talk with Anthony Smith here in just a moment. Victorious Jason Witt, dominant decision there. And now we'll hear from our winner. All right, I'm here with your winner, Jason Witt. Uh, after a hard-fought three-round war, how do you feel? I feel absolutely phenomenal. Uh, everybody came out of the night. Thank you so much for coming out and supporting local fighters. I appreciate it. Give it up to you guys. Give it up to the fighters tonight. Hell yeah, Kansas City. All right, man, Zach Busha, uh, he was in there the whole time, man. He was, I mean, you were dominating the fight, but he was laying big shots on you. Were you surprised you weren't able to get a finish? Uh, I was, man. I hit him with some hard shots and, uh, repeatedly, and he just kept going in there. My hands hurt like hell, but, you know, that was a game plan that worked out, and that's, that's the way it went. If I didn't get the finish, I still got the W. It's all that matters. All right, man. You're, you're a highly touted prospect. Everyone's talking about you. What, what do you want next? I want that call from the UFC. I feel like I deserve it. I'm number one in the Midwest. I'm number one in Minnesota. I'm number one in Kansas. I'm number two in the United States. I mean, I'm on a four or five win streak. There's no denying me. There has to be a phone call coming soon, and I'm prepared for it. I'm waiting for it. All right, everyone, let's give it a hand for Jason Witt.